Welcome to Easy Deploy's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to trigger a pipeline in one repository when changes are pushed to another repository. Overview When managing complex software projects or interconnected repositories, it may be necessary to coordinate actions across multiple repositories. By setting up a pipeline trigger between repositories, you can automate the execution of tasks or workflows in response to specific events. This ensures consistency, efficiency, and synchronization between repositories, allowing for streamlined development, testing, and deployment processes. Requirement We currently have two repositories, one that contains the source repo of our configuration files, and another that contains scripts to build and deploy the application to our environment. Hence, I want to trigger the pipeline when changes happen in source repo to trigger another repository pipeline. Prerequisites Bitbucket account You need to have already configured the pipeline in your destination repository. The app password needs to be created in your Bitbucket account. What is covered in this video? We will be Creating a source repository in Bitbucket Creating a Bitbucket Pipelines.yml file in that source repository. Verify the trigger to initiate the pipeline when changes occur in the source repository to trigger another repository. Creating Bitbucket Repository. Log into the Bitbucket Repository. Create a new repository that we consider as the source. Log into your Bitbucket account and create a new repository. I have mentioned the repository name configuration. You can mention whichever you prefer. Setting up a pipeline to trigger when changes are pushed to another repository. Creating a Bitbucket pipeline file in that source repository. Update the pipeline file with our destination repository information. Check the status of the pipeline. Now go to Pipeline section. Scroll down the page. You will see Starter Pipeline. Select that. It will provide you sample template of Bitbucket Pipeline YAML file. Click on Commit File. After committing, we can see the pipeline execution. Wait a minute for it to succeed. Now, move back to the source section. We can see the Bitbucket Pipelines.yml file created. Copy the Bitbucket Pipeline YAML script from the repository. We've provided the bitbucketpipelines.yml file link in the description, you can get it from there. After that, go to the source repository and edit the bitbucketpipelines.yml. Select all and replace with the Bitbucket YAML script we copied. Let's modify with our repository information. I have provided the branch from my source repository. I have provided my destination repository. I have provided my workspace name.
provide the branch from my destination repository. Finally, click on Commit. Click Commit to commit the changes. We need to update the Bitbucket username and password in the variables. Now, navigate to the repository settings. Scroll down below, and we can see the repository variable in the pipeline section. Select the repository variable. Name the variable as Bitbucket username. I have provided my Bitbucket username in the value. You need to supply yours. Name the variable as Bitbucket app password and I have provided my Bitbucket app password. I am not covering the steps to create the Bitbucket app password as it is not under the scope of this video. If you are unsure on how to create a Bitbucket app password, please refer to the link in the description. Let's move back to the slide. Testing the pipeline to trigger another repository's pipeline. We're committing small changes in the source repositories code to check if it triggers the pipeline in another repository. We're committing small changes in bitbucketpipeline.yml to check if it triggers the pipeline in another repository. After committing, select the Pipeline section. We can see the pipeline is in progress. Select the pipeline. We can see the pipeline build logs of the source repository. Wait a minute for the pipeline to succeed. Now the source repository pipeline is successfully done. Let's check to see if it triggered the pipeline in the destination repository. Go to the destination repository, select the pipeline section. We can see the destination pipeline has started running. Select the pipeline. Wait a minute for the pipeline to succeed. The destination pipeline has been successfully triggered. Conclusion We have created the Bitbucket repository, created pipeline and execute it, tested the pipeline to trigger another repository pipeline. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, 
implementing and managing their environment with AWS best practices.